Right, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to this Carter webinar live from our studios in Bangkok, Thailand. It's 3 p.m. and I'm joined today by two colleagues who are going to talk to you about two, well, they're sort of interrelated subjects because they are both exciting new features of the uh, very exciting new look part of website. And for those of you that still don't know that URL, it's www.parta.org. Now, a little later on, we're going to be talking about a tiger, the travel intelligence graphic architecture, a very exciting new development uh, introduced via the website, via our colleagues in the Strategic Intelligence Center here in Bangkok. But first of all, I'm going to ask Mary Gurley, who um, I think I best described, I think, as our interactive guru, okay. to talk about profiles. Now, as of about 60 minutes ago, anyone, in and in particular any party member, can now register online at the party website and create a profile, either individual or corporate. And it's going to be an opportunity as we develop this feature uh, for members to get to know each other, each other much better, and we hope do business together via the part of website. Um, so I'm going to ask Merrick Gurley really just to take us through what it means. A lot of work gone into setting this up, I know, and there's no point in doing it if you, the members, are not going to use it. So over the course of the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to try to persuade you to get online and create your profile. Mary, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you. Uh, I know you've had your fingers crossed today that we were going to be live by 3 p.m. <laughs> Bangkok time, and I'm delighted that we are. Just take us through um, the, the, the sort of the three easy steps, if you like, to getting a profile online. Okay, absolutely. Um, well, for those of you who are PADA members already, uh, you should have received emails or someone in your organization should have, should have received an email. Uh, that gives you a link through on, and instructions on how to register, and that would make you an admin of the site. Um, that is what I am, so I'm going to sign in myself and just show you a little bit what these profiles can do. After that, I will show you how you register, so if you don't already have access, if you haven't already logged in, I'll show you the average person step-by-step -step on for the profile. So I click on sign in from the home page. Up here, it's uh, down here as well. I know my email address. Now you're doing this because you've already already registered, but there's also a little link there to register for the first time. Yes, and um, I'll, I'll take you through that too. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the admin, this is what they will have. They've already been issued an email uh, sign-in and a passport. So they're going to have that in an email address. They can just click on sign in, go in right now, and do it. Okay. Now, just while you're doing that, I just want to get let's get that point absolutely clear. All our members have received a communication from us, which includes a password to register for the first time. Someone from every member yeah. organization has. Not necessarily everyone in the company, but no. I would love to see every person in the, the company coming on. But the nominated on administrator, I think that's what we call exactly. that. Yes, okay. Exactly. So every part of member needs to know who that administrator is, and then if necessary, they can become sub-administrators or what have you. We, more than one person in each membership organization can, can do this. Is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so to that point, let's go in and take a look. So if you look at Casa, this is the corporate... Um, profile. You can see all the people who oh, belong, to this, faces <laughs> belong to our organization. <laughs> you can see our special offers and promotions, uh, our recent activity. And if I go in and I click manage people, yes. I'm an admin, so I have the power to upload uh, jobs, internships, promotions. But I can just go in here and I can say, you know what? I want Chris to be an admin. I'm going to make him an admin. Oh, I think it's sensible. <laughs> <laughs> so I can click that, and then now he has the option to come in and, and do the same things that I can do. If I get cold feet about it, I just remove admin, yeah. and then we're fine. All I right. can also remove users. If I get set up with Nita, and <laughs> we fire her, we kick her to the curb, I could say remove user, and she doesn't get to uh, have a paddock profile any longer. I, I don't scroll down on that page too much, but it'll show up. 
the fact that I have yet to upload a photo. Ah, wrap the knuckles. <laughs> We've just been too busy. Um, so let me just take you through exactly what it is that these profiles offer. So for starters, you can um, you can upload a little bit about yourself. You can upload a promotion. I think this is a feature that our members are going to be particularly interested in because now you don't have to email us and say, please, please, please let your members know about this, that, or the other. You can go in yourself and say, you know, we're, we're going to give a special discount to other PADA members, or you can go in and say our company is doing 20% off for everyone or over the next two weeks. Um, PADA right now is a member, member promotion, so we just upload it right there and uh, that are <coughs> aggregated in the all promotion section. Now, if you just go to the PADA profile, it'll only show password. Now, is that, that promotions page, is, that is restricted. You have to be a member of our association to get into that section. Is that right? You have to be a member of our association to upload and upload. into that section. Right. But you, you, can, can you can view it if you're, if you're a member of the general public. Yes. Yeah, okay. And you'll see we promote it on the home page as well. It's yes. a different kind of nuance to the site that now we're really trying to put our members' specific deals front and center. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if we go back to my profile, you'll see uh, jobs and internships. This profile's a bit fishy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a little bit sparse right now, and we'd like to see our members coming in. Uh, since the beta site went live two weeks ago, we actually have over 200 profiles already up on the site. People are active. They are using it. That's very good. Um, very but good. Well done to everyone. Any of our listeners have done that already, thank you for supporting this fantastic initiative. And you, you'll see this little good feedback over here. So we have gotten some feedback, suggestions, great stuff, and some positive thoughts on the site. So here's where we're thinking our young members uh, are really going to enjoy this section, be able to come in and find out what internships, training type of things that our members are offering. The inbox, you know, just message other people. You can only do that if you are a PADA member. You can actually message an individual. So, you know, rather than having to Google and try to find, oh, who's the CEO of this company, or I want to talk to their secretary or want to do this, that's all going to be listed right here on the PADA website. Uh, and then the wall, this is just kind of fun where you can come in and say anything new that you want people to know about your organization. You can link to websites you think are interesting. Um, and then all the people on there, you can comment on any of this. I, mean, I suppose it's a little like Facebook, is it? It's, what we're trying to do is take the things that we like about the existing social networking and professional networking sites and you know, splice out the bits and pieces that we think are going to be the most useful for our members and tailor an entirely new experience. Right. The Just site. stay on that page, if you would, Mary. Now, here we are, because I'm delighted that we've got people all over the world firing in questions. We've got a gentleman here, Sandy Ferguson, asking, is there a part of chapter in Atlanta or the Southeast United States. Now, is the idea that another blogger or whatever you're going to call it will answer directly, not necessarily a member of the party staff, a part of team member, will answer issues like that? Is that how you see it develop? Absolutely. So it's I mean, like a, a chat room, if you like. You'll see that I did answer that, and I'm right. through in mind to the chapter's page where you can look around. And yeah, you know, they can bring up issues that they want to address, ask questions, get feedback, comment on each other. Uh, it is, uh, this is the chat room feeling within here. Right. But it's also the opportunity, again, to promote their business. So they can talk about their promotions there, link through to whatever they want, uh, talk about, give a little shortened version of whatever press release they might want to get out there. Um, so this is what the wall looks like. You can see the recent activity here. This shows what the um, different profiles have done. So here I see that um, Nita added people to the list of PADA. Somebody posted a discount for a cruise. You get all these sorts of things all over here. Okay. And, and again, um, those of you who have been kind enough to tune in and listen to this webinar, if you want to send Merida a message, um, feel free to do so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. I'm front and center. <laughs> Um, over here you have um, organizations you may be interested in. And the way that we've done this is we've taken certain 
membership types that you've tagged yourself as when you created your profile. And we've paired them with things that we think you might be interested in. So uh, maybe a travel agent would be paired to hotels and cruise lines and vice versa. And we're working on finally honing this as we go once we get member feedback on how useful this is. But we're trying to create connections and drum up this feeling of opportunity on the site. Then um, there's also organizations we really need to try that. Let's get back to the PADA profile. So it's from here as an admin, from this page dynamically, that I can add people, add jobs and internships. It's just as simple as clicking on that. I go on Manage Discounts. I go on Add New Promotion. And I can type in whatever I want right there. Within reason. <laughs> yes, well, about that. If you click on the pad of profile. I mean, are we giving guidelines to our members in terms of what they should and perhaps should not post in this area? I mean, yes. got to be some common sense applied to this. Absolutely. Uh, there is an area where you can, so if I go to Ben's profile, I can tag her as reporting inappropriate content. Okay. And uh, I'm hoping that this will be a self-policing policy. We don't have to go in and say, don't be hateful, <laughs> don't be crude, don't be rude, be supportive. Okay. This is a site for business and connection. Okay. But if some people do push the limit, I trust our members to go in there and uh, tag it as inappropriate. And the consequence would be either removing that article of um, inappropriate content or removing the entire profile. All right, now I'm going to go in, I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to register from scratch to show you how it's done. Right. The general process is if I go in and say I work for Asian, Asian Airlines, and I want to create my profile, I can go in here and do that. But an administrator at Asian Airlines needs to tag me and approve my request as being an employee for them to get the same benefits that they deserve as a PADA member. And is that done after you registered? Yes. So I'm going to create a mock-up one right now. And when I go to this, all the PADA members are already populated within here. So your, your organization, if you're a PADA member, should already be present. So I click on PADA. Now, if I'm not a member of any of those organizations, if I work for, you know, Toys R Us, I just type it in. I don't get any of the benefits of a PADA member, but I can still have a profile on, profile on the site. Just the things I can do are limited. Let's go back to... this. That's a spam device, presumably, is it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anti-spam. Yeah. self point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, man, this does look remarkably straightforward. Uh, it can is, it be this easy? It is exactly this easy. Um, some of the confusion that people have had us from the beta launch of the site is, can I go in, can I um, create a profile for a member of my organization if they don't want to do it themselves? The answer is yes, you can, but you need to email them their login and password so they can go in and dynamically change their account. It obviously makes more sense for the individual to do it for themselves, uh, but it is a possibility. Another thing is if people want to be admin and they're not, what do they do? Well, they need to find out who the admin contact well, is. Well, that's the correct You see, this is the crux of the issue. I, I'd like to suggest to you that, that perhaps the people who historically within our membership have been most closely associated with the contact are not necessarily the same people who would spend time creating a 
profile doing this online chat and putting up promotions. Right. So we've got to make absolutely sure that within each and every membership or member organization, um, they know who has the, the power, if you like, to control the administration within that organization and, and that it's delegated so that we can get you know, people of all management grades and ages um, and, and geographic locations to start engaging this very exciting development. That's absolutely so we've got to start right. spreading the message <laughs> through each membership organization, haven't we? Yeah, we do. We, we really need the people who are going to be using it to be aware of it. Uh, you know, if it's only the, the CEO who maybe isn't that engaged with online activity and that's the only person who has access, that's not going to do any good. No. We need to be disseminating. Uh, well, he, may, may, he or she may very well be uh, enthusiastic about it, but not necessarily have the time to do it. Um, and we don't want that to be a barrier, do we? I mean, we want to get... We want to get the organization as a whole involved. Yeah. Um, now, I'm just going to look, look across the, the, the studio here to my colleague, Aronine. Just wonder if we've got any questions yet coming in from our listeners. Um, and while we while we have a look at the system, just just sum up here then. Um, is it rock and roll time? It's ready to go. We're, oh, yeah. we're past the sort of the testing. This is live, fully functional, and ready for the members to use for their, each, uh, for their own benefit. Absolutely. Yeah, it, this is absolutely ready to go. I was just going into my email account to see if I'd gotten the confirmation email uh, and take you through the rest of the process. But it, it is quite straightforward, and it takes about uh, five minutes sometimes to go through the email. Right. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. You get a little confirmation thing. You click on it. Okay. What, where do our members go to if they want further guidance on... Um, what to do. You know, they might not be entirely internet savvy, they're having a little bit of problem registering. Is there someone they can contact or is there someone on our website, you know, some FAQs? How can we help them make it as easy as possible to start using this? All right. Well, first of all, we do try to get a step-by-step -step throughout the process. To right. say, this is exactly what you do. These are the benefits. This is how you connect to other uh, members. I am working on getting an FAQ live by the end of this week. I'm still compiling some of the feedback and questions. And everyone can always feel very comfortable to contact me directly. Right. Um, uh, Robert from e Travel Blackboard in Sydney, wanting to know, could he have the name of the gentleman's voice we're listening to? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Robert, this is Dale Lawrence. I'm the Director of Corporate Communications for Parton. And thank you for asking. And I trust you're all well down in Sydney this afternoon or this evening, your time now. Um, uh, right. Mary, any final thoughts before I bring in our colleague Chris Lim to talk about the tiger? Uh, just that we, you know, I want everyone to really take advantage of the website that we've created here. And yeah. I hope to see them all online. I want to see these profile numbers skyrocketing. Uh, get everyone in your organization on this site. You know, I want to see absolutely everybody because the more people you have on your page, the more robust your page looks. The more activity there is, the more activity we spawn from it. So it's really sort of the more value you put in, the more value you get. Merrick, you've convinced us all. Well done. <laughs> you've made a compelling case. And I promise in return uh, that I will upload my photograph very soon. Thank you, Dale. Otherwise, you'll be, otherwise you'll be, you'll be, uh, you'll be nagging me, I know. Um, so we're just going to, a little bit of seat swapping here, and I'm going to bring in Chris Lim. Um, uh, and thank you, Robert, for your, for your response. Um, I'm going to bring Chris in to talk about turn it to the second half of our webinar this afternoon talk about another exciting development on our website, and welcome Chris, and that's the, um, the TIGA, or TIGA, which just to remind everyone, stands for Travel Intelligence Graphic Architecture. Now, I have absolutely no idea what that really means, Chris, I know you're going to explain that to us. Um, we've used, I think, quite a striking image of the most beautiful TIGA, and there, there he is. Um, and if you go to our website, you'll see the story which talks about the Carter Tiger having real teeth. Now, um, you know my views on this, but I think at the moment it's just the milk teeth in it, isn't it? Because this, this tiger is still in its infancy. Okay. This is not something that's just going to happen overnight. This is a, a three-phase program. Phase one of our new, of our new tiger was launched just last month in Kuching during our annual meeting and seminar. 
Um, but, but the question I think that the industry is now wanting to know is, when's this tiger going to get its really sharp moments? When are we going to be able to go out and have a lot of meat on the bones and offer the added value to all our membership that this, that this does create? Yes, uh, good day everybody. Uh, this is Chris Sim here from the Bangkok office. Uh, yes, uh, it was quite a bit of, of uh, introduction we have given to Tiger. And uh, yes, uh, it's an exciting time for PARA. Uh, you have seen earlier what Merit has been able to do for us over a couple of uh, months. So this is uh, the, the other part of, of, of our sort of uh, new uh, tools uh, on the digital age where we are trying to empowering uh, the people, the user, to, to, to be able to look for themselves the information or the data that they need. So uh, I'm going to run through with you some of the slides. I We, we actually use that for, for our our soft launch in Kuching during our PARA annual meeting uh, just uh, just last month. So let's, let's go straight to that. Yeah? Okay, uh, before I go straight into Tiger, um, just to run through a few what we actually been producing in the past. I think that Chris, this is a yeah. summary of the, of the intelligence reports produced by PARA. Yes. Uh, some on an annual basis, some, some yes. uh, on a quarterly more or less frequently than that. Yeah, if you could see from there, we've been producing uh, reports like the uh, annual tourism monitor, the forecast, also, photo tourism reports, snapshots, or or actually will make available from time to time. So it's it's, it's been uh, uh, in this printed format for many many years. We sort of started to go green for lately, so try to have it in PDF for some of them. But in any event, you still get some of these uh, hard copy reports for, for for all the important publications that we have over here. Indeed. Yeah. And of course, our listeners are probably thinking, how can I get a hold of these copies? And of course, for some members, really depending on the level, the level of membership, of membership. fee, some yeah, will right. get them included and others can purchase them, but at a very, very attractively discounted, discounted, discounted correct. rate. Yes, 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 correct. So if you can see from this slide, uh, we have two uh, reports we are releasing, actually this month and next month. Uh, for this month, we are releasing the Annual Tourism uh, 2010 early editions, which is uh, uh, ahead of the, the feature release we have in September it, it, during the Pata Travel Month uh, in, in, the public, uh, in Macau. So by the next month, we'll probably see the release of this Asia-Pacific uh, Tourism Forecast, which is covering the period up to 2012. Right. I think ju let's just clarify what we're mm -hmm. talking about before mm -hmm. we move into Tiger, yes. and everyone's dying to hear about Tiger. No? Because we've got the tide on the front page. The Annual Tourism Monitor 2010 mm -hmm. is the authoritative source of travel and tourism statistics for 2009. That is correct. It is a, uh, a, an accurate historical record of what has happened. Yes. And you get it from us more quickly, more efficiently than any other source. The forecasts with the tide on the front is our authoritative forecasting of what's going to be happening in terms of tourism receipts and arrivals to 40-something destinations in the region. over the next three years. Yes. So they're quite different publications, Chris, yes. aren't they? Yes. But, but, but both having the value um, uh, to the industry at large in terms of, in terms of their, their business planning and their marketing strategies. Yes, I think if you look at the, the reports, we what we try to do here is uh, we have a tourism monitor that is in the past and the uh, tourism forecast is in the future. Yeah. We need something at present. Now the, so question, the question is, how much of this will we see in, in, in the new Tiger online infrastructure, if you like? Yes, basically uh, all the information that, that we use to produce the reports, you, we will be making it available in Tiger. So uh, I'm going to move into that and explain more about it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also share with you some periodic uh, updates, and that is basically uh, 
measuring or looking at the pulses of, of of travel and tourism uh, trends uh, in, the, in the more timely manners. But of course, it's it's, it's still a a pretty pretty tough environment we're operating right now, and we we also understand that you know one side doesn't really fit all because of uh, the reports we produce, and you, some people do not need all the information in the reports. Uh, so what we're trying to do is uh, we need we need tiger. So so basically, there's a need for us to change global financial and basically health crisis that occurred for the last two two years. Uh, things changed pretty dramatically uh, in, in the matter of days. So we, we need information. We need uh, updates that will be able to help us to make the informed decisions in a very quick uh, space of time. So the technological changes as well also will give us the opportunity to move from the traditional way of producing the numbers to the digital era. Yeah? So more importantly, it's because of the member expectations. So we are trying to, to, to basically put, uh, invent or create something that is uh, is very much a uh, state of the art using the technology. Right. And, and allowing members to go onto our website and again depending on their membership status uh, access that data in um, in real time. Yes, so we again uh, we, uh, we empower you with Tiger so let's 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 get to understand about what what actually Tiger is all about. Yeah. So what is a uh, Tiger? It, it, it's basically a travel intelligence graphic architecture, an application software that basically aggregates all the travel tourism information, focusing primarily on the Asia Pacific region. Okay, it's a new service for Para members, and that's what we've been doing, trying to add value to the membership. Um, so we're providing this kind of benefits, uh, allowing uh, members to, to go online and pick up whatever they want. So this is a uh, jointly developed with Sora. So and uh, we just want to go on and uh, look at the objectives of this report, yeah, or this uh, tiger. So now with the tiger, if we is is running in full scene, we will be able to access it on demand anytime, anywhere. And through any personal P uh, computers or mobile devices, so so this will basically allow travel and tourism professionals, you know, to make more informed or better decisions. So if you have a mobile device that can access the internet, you can get into the part of website and get into the data contained within That's right. Tiger. That's right. Okay. So the the indicators we have will be uh, not just on international visitor arrivals or departures. We also have a uh, uh, forecast uh, icon where we are able to look at the forecast uh, numbers for about 40 destinations in the region and we'll be adding uh, basically it's an incremental process we'll be adding uh, whatever we have whether it's hotels or air capacities economics data and things like that so it's, it's going to be an ongoing process and we'll be adding through using our contacts and relationships and, and in some cases yes. contractual relationships yes. with other oh. industry bodies that will share data with us. Is that correct? Right? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I mean this is essentially a business to business service, is it not? You wouldn't expect members of the public to, mm -hmm. to go up into this to, to perhaps help them with their travel plans. It's not that type of intelligence. Yes, this is very much for business planning and strategy. Yeah. Um, rather than for a, a tourist going somewhere. No, it's, it's, it's not the information. It does not contain that kind of information. Yeah. It's basically uh, the database we have. Uh, we've been collecting the arrivals numbers, hotel numbers, uh, whatever from, from our NTOs. So those, those important information, we don't want to load it up so that uh, you know, uh, you're able to, to pick them up and basically tailor make it to your needs. Yes. So that's what we, we, we're trying to do here. Okay. So, so if you go on to, if our listeners go onto the website today, mm -hmm. they will see Tiger is up and running. I mm -hmm. think it's under the intelligence. On the home page, you can click on intelligence. Right. Yeah. It'll take you into that Tiger home page. Yes. Um, and there's some data there, but a lot more to come. Yes. I, just, I probably want to run that through with, with, uh, with you uh, just a, a little long, uh, later. Yeah. Right. 
So that's uh, basically this is the vision that we have. We want to make it a, a tiger, a widely recognized a single source of Asia Pacific survival and tourism intelligence. So it's, it's going to be a, a very exciting time if, if this thing is going to help members in terms of understanding the trend of, of this uh, very fast changing dynamic uh, sector of, uh, of business. Okay, as uh, Dale just mentioned earlier, beta merch is available right now. Okay, this is a screenshot of it. Okay, we have, uh, if you look, you see that we have a data range from 2007 to 2010. We intend to expand that. And we have icons here, about eight icons here. We intend to expand that as well. And we also have uh, our partner regions uh, broken down into America, South Asia, Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, Pacific, and others. So basically, it's uh, it's an interactive tool. So probably I'll just run that tool with you uh, later. So this is another screenshot of it. I just pulled out Malaysian uh, international visitor arrival data. So this is how it looks like. If you, if you set the perimeter for 2007 to 2010, and on the top left corner, you have data range whether you want to display the data on a monthly basis quarterly or, or yearly basis this is what you do. So I, I, I did the monthly one. Yeah. And you can see the monthly changes of arrivals. The volumes on the left uh, axis and on the right axis is a percentage change year on year. So you could see this kind of information, okay, uh, which is, uh, uh, I, I thought is, is brilliant. Now of course, you can add Laos, Indonesia, or whatever you want into the, 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 the uh, page. So how useful that is? It's, it's basically one way is is basically useful to track the actual uh, against the forecast data. We have two sets of uh, data to be uploaded to the Tiger, and then you can uh, monitor you know the what actually happens and the forecast numbers. Okay, this is uh, some of the, the 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 things you could do, right? Yeah. So, access, uh, of course, uh, it's going to be at www.para.org slash tiger. So, that's where you're going to get to the, the tiger page. And, uh, of course, this is uh, basically it's almost like all, all, all other way of accessing the Internet. Yeah? And, that, and, of course, once you log, log into it, you'll be updated when connected to the Internet. So, it's quite quick. Now, we're looking, sitting in our studio, we're looking at quite big screens. Is it is it on a little BlackBerry? Is it, is it going to be, you know, how's it going to work on the on the the sort of the Palm yeah. handheld thing? Is no, you I have mean, an iPad? <laughs> no, 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 I don't. No, I don't have an iPad. <laughs> yes, uh, or an iPod for that matter. It's always a problem of trying to to read those data or charts. But can you can you da could you download and save it and yes. then yes yeah. yes we yeah. download them uh, in. You download the, the information and you can use that uh, mm. and however you want to use it. So it's, it's going to be user friendly and uh, this is what we... Because that's the challenge, to make it easily navigable yes. and user friendly. I mean, you know, that's what we wanted to achieve with our new website and, and we've achieved it, haven't we? I mean, it, it's, it's a million miles away from what our old website looked like and, and the feedback we're getting tells, tells us that yes. that is so. And that's what you, you want to be achieving with Tiger, yes. don't you? That's right. Like, like what you just mentioned earlier, maybe these are the release uh, plan rollout dates of, of, of Tiger. Okay, so we have Phase 1 or Version mm. 1 in Kuching. Yes. Your next key date then is September for the part of Travel Mart yes. in Macau. Yes. And then Version 3 by April of next year. So let's just leave, you know, I'm conscious of time, Chris. Mm. Take us to April 2011. I mean, how much more data and, and information is going to be available on Tiger by April of next year? Yes, I think by that time you will be able to see like the, the breakdown of arrivals by source market for mm -hmm. each destination, and you are able to use uh, use the, 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 the system to basically uh, pick and choose the information you want so, the arrival from probably from the U.S. So if you're sitting in Australia and you're desperately keen to know what's the traffic like coming in from, from North America, you could go to Tiger and find that out, could you? Yes, you can. As long as the numbers is basically uh, 
our other members. Yes. Uh, the NGOs which within the other region. Yes. And we will be able to have those numbers. Well, we have a remarkable number of NGOs or members of Parliament. Yes. Or yes. Right. Right. Yes. That gives us the confidence of doing this. Yes. Let's just take a break just for a second. Let's just have a look at uh, what some of our listeners think about all, all, all this, Chris. Um, and just there's one or two questions that have come in about the profiles. Just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be bringing in um, uh, a Merit just for a final word at the end. She's, she's still with us here in the studio, um, uh, just on the profiles. Um, but... Uh, Chris, in terms of in terms of Tiger, um, this is open to each and every member of the association. That's correct, yes. isn't it? But the higher level of membership uh, you are gives you greater access within within that architecture. Yes, that's you, you get more data. Yes, yeah, yes. So uh, the the next uh, screenshot actually tells you that. So the part of basic. Uh, page we're going to make it available to everybody free of charge yeah and then we'll be uh, coming down to paid levels so we are still uh, fine-tuning the, the structure so this is what we are able to reveal right now <laughs> <laughs> so anyway it's it's it's, uh, it's going to have be a lot of information in there and like what I mentioned earlier not only just the, the arrivals numbers and the source market numbers data we also have uh, we, we want to input exit capacity numbers as well as the hotel's uh, data, that kind of yeah. stuff. So it's, it's, it's going to be a, a well of data available in on, on, on type. Everything you said there, Chris, is historical data. It's, it's, it's facts and figures about things that have happened. What about our forecasts? They're recognized worldwide as being the most authoritative of their kind. Will we, will we be slicing and dicing the forecast and, and making them available on Tiger? It's going to be in there. It's going to be part of the, the main features of Tiger. So you can look forward with Tiger, not simply look back at what has happened yes. already. and present and future. Very good. Very good. Okay, I hope the, uh, this Tiger will give all of us a better view of the world, of how the, the trend is. So it's, it's going to be uh, some kind of a project. It's a project that we will continuously uh, upgrading it. Absolutely. And, uh, this is what we want. And I think one thing, uh, just in conclusion on this, Chris, uh, when you go to that home page of Tiger on our website, there is a feedback button, isn't there? Yes. And I think you really want to hear back from members, encourage sure. them to have a look at it, mm -hmm. uh, give us your feedback. Yeah. They may have very well have some ideas about additional types of information that they will want to see that yeah. we, can, we can provide. But if they don't tell us, we, we, we don't know. So I implore you all to, to yes. click on that feedback button. Please, and please give tell us. Your, give us your views because we want to hear from you. Yes. Chris, nice to see you. Thank you oh, very much you. for coming in. I'm just going to bring, just, just before we wrap things up, I'm just going to bring Eric Gurley back in um, mm -hmm. just for a final word or two, uh, Mary, on the, on the profiles. Um, is there... Would anyone necessarily link the two? Probably not. I mean, these are these are two quite separate areas of activity, aren't they? Although it would be very nice if people in their profiles wrote and said how marvellous the tiger was. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that may fantastic. that may be asking for for, uh, for too much at this stage. Um, have you set any targets? I mean, you know, how many profiles would you like to see up on the site over the course of the next month or so? Well, yeah, I'd hope to get um, 200 in the first week. It took about a week and a half, but I'm still happy. Um, and I would like to see a thousand, a thousand people on the site within the next 60 days. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm going to um, share with you, Matt, a question from Paul Rogers. Paul, I don't know where you're listening uh, this afternoon, but thank you for tuning in. And you, you put forward a very, very interesting point, actually. And I will just read it out for the benefit of all our listeners. Please show us how to search through the members who have signed up for this system, signed up for the profile, so that you can find someone in particular. Okay? So if someone's looking for you, Merritt, mm -hmm. how do they find you on the profiles? Can you just take us through it? Absolutely. And, and, and thank you. He's in northern New, New South Wales. I just spotted that. Thank you, Paul. Okay. So let me just sign in.
Now, you don't have a way right now to browse through just the individuals like you would on Facebook for anyone. Right. But you can browse through all of the members. And once you click on that organization, all of the people associated with it will show up on that organization's page. But you can also search for a specific individual. Uh, right. So you don't necessarily need to know that the person works for PARTA or for ATEC in Australia or whatever. I mean, right. it, you can find the name, the individual's name. Uh, this, so if I look for you, there's every chance you might find me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing for organizations. We don't have any organizations named below, but yes. in people, here we go right here. Very good. And you see him with his rather to the web. Right, rather sparse. I admit it. I admit it. I'll, I'll, I'll have to get up to date. <laughs> so that's how you can search for them here. You can search for an organization okay. or an individual. Um, right. And down the line, we are working so that you can just sort of go through browse people, and it'll have all the profiles in one area that you can look through alphabetically. Yeah. So that is definitely in the pipeline. This is an evolving process. We don't have it doing everything we want it to do right now, and we think that's a good thing because we could go building off in one direction. We think it's going to take off. Like, wow, everyone's going to be really into uploading their internships. And then in that... And then, you know, we come to find out that nobody's really using that. They're using uh, the promotions that are using the wall much more. We can develop that based on their usage. Sure. No, I, have to, I, I think everyone will understand that this is, this, I mean, it's, it's an exciting new development. We've never had anything like this before. The feedback, again, is absolutely vital, isn't it? We need to know if this is what the members want. Can we improve it? Um, now, who, who do they send their feedback to? To me. Not me, I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> they send it, they send it, they to, send me. it to Merit. Marvelous. Um, yeah, so you can send it to me at merit at pata.org or yeah. also website at pata.org. That comes directly okay. to me as well. And of course, your email is on your profile, so it's easy to find. Yes, um, I don't shy away from it, so I'm hoping to get a lot of, lot of, lot of good comments. And uh, we discussed this earlier, too, how your view of the website changes based on whether you're logged in and your membership level. So, for example, because I'm a logged in PADA member, if I go to intelligence, I can click on resources, yes. and they're all going to be available to me. Because, um, yes, absolutely. Because I'm logged in as a PADA member. Now, if I had a profile that wasn't associated with PADA membership, none of this would be available to me. Right. Okay, I've got you. Um, i got a feeling that you may get one or two comments about you and that fish on your profile. <laughs> but, you know, That's going um, to take me 20 <laughs> minutes to pull in. Uh, Isn't it a beaut? Well... <laughs> Catch and release this. Uh, answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> Marvin. Now, Paul, I, I hope you found that 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 useful. Um, and to you and to all the other listeners, I mean, do get, you know, if you, if you struggle with it, email Merit. She, she'll take you through it. Um, but 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 just have a play around with it and, and hope you uh, hope you find it useful. Well, I, Paul also asks how we're going to use this facility to connect with one another. Yes. Um, we're hoping that, one, once you realize you can click on one area right here for promotions and see what what promotions are available, that'll be an automatic tool to connect. You can say, oh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe I didn't know that the Marriott Resort and Spa has some Tuscany wine thing, and maybe my company could leverage that in some ways. Now under promotions, it's all available right there. Also, um, Um, also, in organizations you may be interested in, this is where they're speeding you connections to one another. Yes. And if you upload a promotion, and you can even on your on your wall, right? Uh, you know, hey, I'm looking for travel agents to do some big deal with, and that'll show up for everyone. And I think that once our members are a little bit more, so anyone can see your wall. Then. That's there. That's that's. Yes. Totally in the public domain. Yeah, this is a group wall right now. We discussed doing personal walls, but right now the, the main priority is that we get you in front of one another. Yes. <laughs> we want to make you aware, because some people don't even know who PADA members are. So this is all ways to get one another aware of each other and what you're doing. And once you do that... Um, well, just on that point, of course, um, the membership directory is... is, is the, the link is on the home page, and it's remarkably simple to... to to search for a part of member within within that database. Oh yeah, I mean we have two search bars right now. <laughs> We're really trying to make it easy for uh, for our members to be found. Um, so we have the Google search and we have the member search. Yeah. So drawn from two different databases. And uh, Chris was just wondering how you upload a 
Oh, we upload a promotion. Sorry. And we need to put that and do that. So I need to go to my organization. An individual cannot upload a promotion on their own. They have to do it through their PADA member organization. Understood. So we go here and we say manage discounts. That's a language thing, discount, promotion, whatever it is that you want to make people aware of that your company is doing. Okay. So just click on add new promotion and put the details in here. And I can link through to my site from here as well. We're trying to get people not only interacting within the Pattern website, but actually going through to the member sites and interacting with them directly as well. So, uh, Paul, did that help, help that answer your question? I think it probably did. We've had a, 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 I've seen a couple of responses from him. Paul, try it and t write, write and tell us how you got on. We'd, we'd like your feedback because, you, you know, we appreciate you taking the time to send in your questions. Um, we're all, it's almost time to, to wrap up, Merit. Um, any final thoughts? I mean, this is so new and so exciting. Are your fingers still crossed? Are you absolutely confident that um, notwithstanding the power cuts that we're expecting in oh, Bangkok right. later this afternoon uh, because of a certain little domestic situation that needs to be resolved that we won't get involved in now, um, a political situation that is. Um, I mean, we, we really do want to see lots of busy, exciting profiles, lots of tempting discounts and promotional offers. This is the members' opportunity to use this exciting new website. Yeah, so you know, get out there and use it. <laughs> we've got some tools. We're not going to be able to sharpen them without your feedback. Yeah. And uh, they're not going to do anybody a lot of good if people aren't actually in there, creating their profiles, interacting. Get your pictures up. Uh, Dale. Thank you. <laughs> get your members of your company involved. You've got a well of resources now. You've got the most brilliant minds of the travel and tourism industry. They're there. They're already, you've got 200 members up right now as of today. Mm. They're giving their feedback. They're giving their expertise. Let's use this to aggregate all of this brilliance. <laughs> and, uh, I guess a, that's my final very, thought. That's a fantastic summary. I can't uh, expect or, or ask for any more. So thank you for that. My, my thanks also to Chris Lim for, for bringing us up to date with Tiger. Chris, we look forward to phase two in September and, the, and phase three in April next year. Uh, so my mm -hmm. thanks to you both. To all of you listeners, wherever you may be, thank you for your time this afternoon. I hope you found it interesting. And so until the next time, this is Dale Lawrence in Bangkok wishing you all a very good day.